Hi there, welcome to CoLab. This is part one of a multi-part series uh, where I'm gonna introduce you to the basics of using CoLab. So you see my screen here, this is our homepage. So when you log in, this is where you're going to land. It may look slightly different. Uh, if this is your first time logging in, you probably won't have anything showing up in recent workspaces, recent files, portals, or assigned reviews. What you should see is some workspaces or some folders in the middle here. If you don't see anything, your best bet is to contact your company admin and they can add you to some projects or workspaces that have already been created. If this is your very first time in CoLab and you are the admin, uh, you may need to create your very first workspace and we'll go through that in the next video. Workspaces are like projects. For each project that you have, you will likely want things in a separate workspace just to keep things organized. So we'll walk through some housekeeping items to start. Down here on the left-hand side, we have our profile. On our profile, we're going to be able to access our account settings, change our language, access technical support, and look at company settings if we are an admin. If you are not an admin, you will not see settings and admin coming up here. Now, if we do want to contact support, if you're seeing something funny in the platform, uh, you're trying to upload a file, it's not working correctly, you can always email your CSM or contact support directly in the product. When you do this, you'll be able to submit the ticket and this is gonna take you directly to our technical support team who will be able to follow up and investigate further. The other thing that we can do from our profile is go into our account settings. So in our account settings, we're going to be able to do things like reset our password, change our name, and turn on multi-factor auth authentication if we need to. If you are not an admin, you will not see on the left-hand side all of the company details. You will just see the My Account information. If you are an admin, there will be a separate training video for you. Now, where we want to wrap up for today's session is notifications. Notifications allow you to be notified of things uh, either in app or over email. Now, of course, the in-app notifications are only going to be helpful when you are in app. So it is important to have some of the email notifications turned on, but we don't want you getting too many emails. So I recommend as you get familiar, come on in here and turn certain things on and off uh, as you understand what, e what each item is. Uh, you can always come back and course correct this afterwards. Uh, chances are if somebody invites you to a review and you didn't get an email about it, uh, you may need to come in here and check your notifications. We also do have some presets on in here if you want to start off uh, with, with those presets. That's all we're going to cover in today's video. I look forward to seeing you next time.